Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Anno 1800 game. Uh, first of all, we will start with the graphic parameter uh, in the game. After that, I will show you where is the config file. And at the end, I will show you a new program that I'm using uh, that will fix a lot of stuttering issue that a lot of people have right now. Uh, it's because of some kind of bug with Windows 10 uh, with all those uh, last updates. Uh, so I will show you how it works. It's the guy who created uh, DDU who, who did that. So I will uh, give you also the link in the description. So let's start with the game. Uh, first of all, DirectX. Um, you should definitely test it. But uh, for me, I'm losing 15 FPS when I'm playing DirectX 12 with my RTX uh, 2070. So I'm playing DirectX 11 in this game. So tested it because sometimes I know AMD card, um, sometimes they're getting more FPS than Direct, DirectX 12. So just do uh, your testing on your side. Uh, enable VSync, I'm playing at on. Honestly, you don't care. It's like if you want to sync with your uh, monitor, but uh, you will not see input lag in this game. Window mode, really important. I'm playing full screen. I did a test with window and window full screen. I'm losing 2% here of FPS and here I'm losing 3. So uh, really important, play at full screen. Texture quality, depending on your VRAM. If you have 4 gig and more, go at high. 3 gig or even 2 gig, you can play at medium. And if you have less than 2 gig of VRAM, put it at low. Lighting qual quality, sorry. Uh, you will uh, gain 2% uh, for each bracket. So I'm playing at medium. Water quality is kind of important in this game, honestly. If you have like a laptop, integrate video card and stuff like that, go with low. Uh, you will gain 3% for each bracket, but uh, I on my I, I did a test on a laptop and honestly, when you go with your uh, water at low, uh, the game was, was a lot smoother. Uh, object quality, I'm putting this one at high. You will gain 2% for each bracket. But uh, yeah, when you put this one at medium or, or low, I feel that I'm losing too much um, graphic quality. So that's why I'm playing at high. Terrain quality, I'm playing at medium. Also, it's, it's a 2% increase for each bracket. So again, depending what is your goal, if you want 60 FPS or 144 FPS, you will change depending what you need. Uh, after that, anti-aliasing, I'm playing at 4x. Uh, it's almost 3%, honestly, for each bracket. So if you completely remove it, you can gain a nice 7% uh, total uh, boost on your uh, FPS. So that's pretty huge. Shader quality. I didn't see a big uh, difference between medium and low. So play at medium. But I, to medium, I saw like an increase of 2%. So medium is a good one to for uh, shader quality. Shadow quality. This one is really important. It's like almost 4% for each bracket. So when I, <laughs> when I was using ultra high and I compare with low, I got like 25, per, uh, 25 FPS increase uh, when I put this one at low, so really important play at low. Post-processing, not a huge difference between high and low. It's a bit weird. Normally in games, I can gain like a nice chunk of FPS with post-processing. In this game, I saw like 2 FPS difference max. So uh, again, depending on your goal, you can change it uh, if you change everything else, but it's not a big factor. View distance, this one is really important. It's uh, the view distance that you see in front of you, so how much you will render. Uh, for sure, again, if you have like a laptop, integrate video card and stuff like that, go at low. Me, I'm playing at medium because it doesn't impact too much my, um, my uh, gameplay. So yeah, that's about it for the graphic parameter. So now I will show you um, what you can do with the config file. So to see the uh, config file, go to documents. I know open beta config open the engine so this is all the stuff that you can change so first of all everything that we just changed is in custom so all the parameters are there the cool thing in this file you can change the preset if you want so if you want to play at very high but you don't want shadow at very high you put zero here you save and now when you will put very high everything will be at very high except shadow so that's a cool uh kind of like feature uh, but yeah, you have a couple of stuff that you can change that are not in the game, but I don't have like a magic trick here. It's not like you can completely remove a uh, shadow or stuff like that. So that's about it. So now let's talk about the software that I'm using that I was telling you about. So intelligent standby list cleaner. This is the guy who create, um, DDU. So a lot of people know DDU. Um, I will show you the link where to download it. I had this issue on my computer. So the, the problem is 
uh, Windows take a standby list um, and it doesn't purge the standby list. So I was losing all my memory in my um, computer. So uh, when I was playing a game like Division 2, even Battlefield 5, I, I had like a lot of stuttering. I didn't know why. I was like, maybe it's my overclocking and stuff like that. I did a lot of different tests. And after that, I read a, a lot about it. And a lot of people have this issue. And it's because of the latest uh, um, updates from uh, Microsoft. So definitely use this. Uh, you can also put a timer if you want, but honestly, this is the perfect setting. Just click on start minimize. The list size at least one gig. Uh, memory is lower than one gig. Purge the list so it will do automatically. And you can also do it manually if you want by pressing here. So that's about it, guys. If you have a question about the software or whatever the game, just post in the comment YouTube uh, video. Uh, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.